This patient, who presented with a very unusual coanal polyp causing significant nasal airway obstruction, has some rather unusual findings in the CT scan that are worth commenting on. In the anterior scans, you will notice that there is a aeration or concha bullosa of the vertical plate of the left middle turbinate. There is a smaller concha bullosa of the vertical plate of the left middle turbinate with what appears to be an air fluid level. As we travel more posteriorly, you begin to see on the patient's left side what is a soft tissue mass representing the coanal polyp. Notice the mass here appears to be underneath or possibly even attached to the left middle turbinate. One can see an extremely large unicellular or single cell ethmoidal bulla on the left and on the right side a two-celled bulla with a small opening medially into the middle meatus underneath the middle turbinate. Passing more posteriorly, the polypoid mass blends in rather amorphously with the middle turbinate on the left side. Two cuts further posteriorly, we can see a very large polypoid mass filling the upper portion of the left nasal cavity and compressing the posterior portion of the left middle turbinate. A diagnosis of a left coanal polyp was made with the concept that in this case the coanal polyp was not a traditional coanal polyp, in other words it didn't originate within the maxillary sinus and extend into the nasal cavity through either the ostium or an accessory ostium, but that what we were dealing with was an isolated, stocked, large coanal polyp originating either from the left middle turbinate or from the left ethmoidal bulla. In contrast, this patient of Dr. Robert Josephson's presents with a classic coanal polyp, in this case originating in the right maxillary sinus. As an incidental finding, notice that there are bilateral aerated middle turbinates or concha bullosa, and in the anterior end of the left maxillary sinus is completely opacified, extending posteriorly there's a homogeneous opacification filling the left maxillary sinus. In actual fact, one can even see the medial wall of the maxillary sinus is somewhat expanded and extends medially into the middle meatus. We can now see what appears to be the extension of a polyp or soft tissue mass from the left maxillary antrum in the region of the posterior fontanelle passing into the middle meatus. The coanal polyp is filling the middle meatus and appears morphologically to blend in with the inferior turbinate, although in actual fact it has no relationship whatsoever with the inferior turbinate. In its most posterior extent, it's very difficult in this patient to identify which of the soft tissue mass in the coina is inferior turbinate and which is coanal polyp because we see on the opposite side that there is significant hypertrophy of the inferior turbinate on the opposite side. The best clue to the fact that this really is a coanal polyp is this round extension which extends beyond the coina into the nasal pharynx on the right side. This is the coanal portion of this nasal polyp. Even more posteriorly, you can see the size of the coanal polyp and how it is causing significant nasal obstruction in the coena. This patient presented with nasal obstruction, which turns out to be due to a large single polyp hanging down into the posterior portion of the nasal cavity in the coena, which appears to be arising 
on the CT scan from the middle turbinate, but in actual fact, that surgery appears to be arising right off of the ethmoidal bulla. We will put a little local anesthetic into the polyp. At its stock, and it is a stocked polyp. So this is the front face of the bulla. And what I'm doing is injecting local into what appears to be the stock of the polyp. Can I have straight cup forceps, please? These are through cutting forceps. And what we will do is we'll use these to divide the stock. And I'll take straight cups, large. And using the large straight cups, I will grab the polyp at its stalk and see if we can pull it out of the nasal cavity. And here is our coenal polyp, a record short polypectomy. In order to prevent recurrence, we're going to open up the ethmoidal bulla. For this, we'll use the Diego Shaver. That's the origin of the polyp. And the procedure is now complete.